Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to build a pretty efficient cactus farm. The materials you'll need, blocks to build with, fences, I'd prefer wooden fences, cactus, and of course your sand. Let's get to it. So first you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then do that for every side. And when they're all filled in like so, now you're simply just going to connect them like this. And then we'll get on to the next thing. Okay, so now we have that. All you have to do now is fill this in and I'll be right back to you. And now your platform is filled in. The next step is to put up the a wall about this high. And this is going to go around the farm like so. And there you go. So that's complete. Now you are going to put blocks in the corners like so. You actually don't need to fill in the corner, but I did. These are temporary blocks because we are also going to need a water bucket. But we aren't going to use it quite yet. So once it's filled out like so, what you're going to do is I would recommend taking a really uh, easy breakable item. I'd actually prefer redstone dust. But you can use torches. You just place them in this pattern from the center. So go one, space two, space three, space four. And then you're going to do the same thing here. One, two, three, four. And what you're going to end up getting is a pattern of 16 on every side. You're going to do this for every single side. So all the way around, I'll be back with you. And now an overview. So this is the pattern you should have. I'll mark that as the center. So in each quadrant, you have 16 right here, here, and here. So that's 64 in total. The next step you want to do is you're going to place a, a block. You can use top slabs or whatnot, but I, or bottom slabs even. But I'm going to use solid cobble. And I'm going to put the cobblestone on top of every piece of redstone dust that we have in here. And then I'll be right back with you. And now we have something like this. And now what you have to do is get 64. So basically a stack of sand. And you put it on every single piece of cobblestone you have placed down. And now your farm looks like this. Now, before we do anything else, we are going to simply get one hopper. And you can use one chest, but I'd recommend a double chest. And you're simply going to put it here. Now, if you want to further make it easier to put the chest in, break that and replace it with a top slab. You'll see why in just a second. One moment. So right here and possibly here. Now just put your double chest under those. And you can obviously have something. You can have this thing on stilts. And then you can just go under and collect your cactus. But there you go. That is your collection center point. And now we are actually going to go ahead and do the next step. This is how I do in survival. I step on this block, I place my four cactus, then I just kind of hop along the sand, place another few cactus, and then what you want to do is put blocks above the cactus, and you see where I'm going with. This is an example. I had a lag spike there that won't happen to you because, as a matter of fact, I need to restart my computer, but um, there you go. You have this, and then you simply just put your fences like this and then break the blocks right there do the same thing here and there you go so that's how you do that step now you just put your other few sand I mean cactus and instead of putting another fence here just skip it and put your cactus down right here oh dear that's not good Anyways, put your um, cactus there, and then you repeat the same step. 
And as you can see, you're actually using less fences for more cactus. You'll need 32 fences per layer if you're going to go with that. And I'm also going to show you something that will make your farm more efficient, but will cost more blocks. So I am basically going to show you for one more time how this looks. It's like that. And I'll copy that on the other side. Alrighty, so now it should look like this. So you're basically skipping a fence post in between each. And it'll break all the cactus, which is excellent. Now your next step is quite simple. You are going to place blocks in the... You'll stay in the corner, you'll basically just place blocks like that. And you're going to do that on every side because um, it's going to be helpful. Pro I promise you that. It'll be very helpful. So just do that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place your water like this and skip. And then you could take the center out and then put it right there. That's if you wanted to use infinite water source trick, which I do. And now what will happen is the water will actually break all that redstone dust for you. And it'll go right into the hopper. Same goes for if you're using torches. So there you have it. It automatically breaks those... Um, you know, temporary stuff, which is exactly really good. So now you're that you've done it all around, break those, and then you're going to place your water source on top, and then you can punch out the corners, and it'll manipulate the water's flow. So do that, break, and then you're going to do the same thing here, break, it's really simple. Now, in a Skyblock server, I I built this thing. It's really good. Trust me. I got lots of materials. So there you go. That's it. You've now completed your farm. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to stack it. The most cheaty way in... Uh, well, it's... it's um, yeah, I'm going to use a structure block. Okay, perfect. So we got to stay on this corner. Now, this is a 21 by 21 farm, I believe, so and it goes up about 6. This is how you use uh, structure blocks, so there we go. It's actually 20 by 20, I think. Anyways, I'm simply just going to go ahead and put on load. This is nothing. Oh yeah, that was perfect. So now we just um, put it right here and stack. There you go. So this is how I stack my farm. I actually put a floor in between because here's what will happen. If you stack a farm really high and you have no floors, what's going to happen is most of the cactus at the top will hit one of these cactuses. And if you had a farm with a fence post on every, like, in between some cactus would even fall right on top of that fence post so this is it's very important if you want high efficiency just put a floor in between everything and I think you'll feel gr good about yourself I repeat this about in survival I repeated this about eight times it took me a little it took me a couple hours but it wasn't that hard I had a I had a good rhythm, and I was able to get this thing built up. If we just stand in the center, we'll see how much we get. I actually had someone on a server doing this. They were just kind of camping here, and they got lots of cactus. So I had to take extreme measures, sadly. Oh yeah, there you go. You get your redstone back. This thing is filling up really quickly. As Yeah. It filled up pretty quick before I... Turned off the random tick speed. <laughs> now it's back to normal. But there you go. That's a cactus farm. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the uh, the concept, go or it's not even a concept anymore. But if you like my design, go ahead and give it a like. And I hope this helps you. Take care.